on some advice and whatnot on the Test Your Luck Towers. So I'll show you one thing with the Test Your Luck Towers. Uh, when it says that they're immune to a certain move, a uh, certain element, I mean, um, I'm going to use this one as an example, and I'm going to use uh, Liu Kang versus Liu Kang. So you'll notice that after it says, well, round and then start, or fight, I mean, uh, you'll have active modifiers. Up where it says Liu Kang resistances, it will say Liu Kang is immune to fire damage. What that means is that fire attacks will go straight through him. It won't even like hit him at all, as I'll show right here. Like I'll do a couple of moves right here. If I try and do flying kick, it doesn't even like, as you can see, it doesn't even connect. Same with these moves right here, nothing. So if it's fire, uh, has a fire element to it, as you can see, it's not even going to connect with them. So that's one thing I want to show off. Some people are kind of confused when it says immune. It's usually whatever element that they're currently using. So if it's Liu Kang, it's going to be fire. If it's Noob Saibai, it's going to be dark. So on and so forth. The other part I wanted to show off was that with these uh, last ones, uh, they do a lot of damage. And I want to show you how much. So I'm just going to pick like any character and just let them hit me a couple times so you can kind of see how much damage they actually deal. Because on the f last tower, they do 100% more damage and with each one it's 25% more. So we'll just have Shang Tsung do a few hits here. As you can see with a full combo, that's going to be a lot of damage right there. So, yeah, that's quite a bit of damage. So, with uh, this one right here, it would be, tw uh, I think it would be zero at, at this one. Then, uh, once you get past the boss, it will go up by 25, so 25%, uh, 50. Actually, no, no, no. The first one actually would be 25% right here. Then 25 no, uh, sorry, 50, uh, 75, and then 100% more damage. And the chance of them uh, giving you, like, certain effects, like the chaos effect, burning effect, freezing effect, it goes up with it, too, by 25. So I'm going to go back now, and I'm going to show some of the characters that you'd want to use in, in those towers. So, when you're in those towers, and you're doing test your luck towers, you want to use a character with a physical element. So, the ones I usually go with is... Baraka is one of them. A lot of, all of his moves, I believe, are all physical. Uh, then I used... I've used Terminator before. I actually have a build right here. This uh, reduces a lot of damage. So, I have... This one that reduces 40% while your offensive gauge is full. Breakthrough for the bosses. So you can actually swap that off until you get to the boss. Uh, that breaks their armor that they get at the end of the match. Armor clad, so I get my own like armor. Uh, Autoimmune. Uh, basically, if it goes on, you know, keep, if the match keeps going on, it will total up to 40% reduced damage, which is nice. Uh, then we have not so special. You take 40% less damage from special attacks, so that's always nice. Elder God Armor is a must in those towers. That actually stops their effects from going off, like the chaos effect, freezing effect, burn damage, all that stuff. It stops all that. It's only useful in the Texture Luck Towers, though. Then for Terminator, I had the Jinsei more than human. Gain 40% more resistance during Terminate. Increase the duration and decrease the recovery duration of Terminate. That's actually something I used. Uh, perfect Specimen. You recover 8 health per second. Your offensive gauge and defensive gauge recover 200% uh, faster. So this is like a fast healer and a free refill all together. So that's very nice. Uh, thumbs up. Uh, reduce the amplitude cost of th uh, special throws. So special throws would be something like the infiltrator toss, like one of your special moves that require a 
for a special move that throws them that requires it to be amplified. That's what they're talking about right there. I use Running Man with mine and Terminate, so that's what I use with Terminator. Um, that's more for like reducing damage build for Texture Lock Towers, though. Um, you can also use Rambo. I made a trap damage build before. Um, you can use this right here. Uh, mix it up is, I would say, really good. Special delivery and amped up would also be another good replacement. Um, I use mix it up because it just does a little bit more damage than those two. But if you don't have that, you can always just use uh, special delivery right here. Special attacks deal more damage, depending on the level, anyways. And amped up, same category, Nether Flame. The same exact thing, it's just only when you amplify the move. So, the next one, I use Quick Step. Uh, Quick Step is optional. Um, it, I, I would only use this when you're not fighting the boss. Because, I mean, when they get armor at the end, you're going to be kind of like screwed then. So, Quick Step just allows you to step away a little bit quicker. I recommend in the beginning of the match to actually jump kick them. To, like, create a little bit of distance. Uh, then, we have Armor uh, Ammo Dump. Uh, ammo Dump is a Mythic Jinsei, so that shouldn't be too hard to get a hold of. Uh, you get a total of 120 bullets that pop out. Uh, then we have Defenseless. De defenseless, even at lower levels, is very good to have. So even with a 5-hit combo, with uh, it being at level 4, it's still going to be considered 100% unblockable. So since you're spitting out 120 bullets, that's going to be, even at lower levels... It's going to be very good. Even at level 3 or level 2, even level 1s would even work. Because it's a guaranteed. Armor clad, uh, if you got level 2 or 3, it don't really matter, honestly. You get, um, at level 3, you get 3 hits of armor, and it regenerates every 10 seconds. One hit of armor. Uh, I use uh, Surprise Attack. Surprise Attack is optional, honestly. That's an Elder uh, Jensei. Basically, whenever you tr uh, trigger one of your traps, the ma uh, the log trap triggers with it. So, that's how that works. Um, Elder God Armor, again, that's an essential one to have in Tesla Light Towers. That's going to help out a lot. Uh, I put Life Stealer on, so that uh, however much damage you're dealing, you'll also get healed back. So, you don't have to worry about like actually dying. Cracked Whip is a Mythic. Uh, as you can see, Wire Trap no longer triggers automatically. It can trigger up to five times, so that's your down back B move. So you can kind of keep, the, you can kind of use that to hold them at a distance, so they don't get close. Uh, the abilities I use is the hidden, the hidden M60, uh, Commando, and Fubar. Honestly, you could probably just go with hidden M60 and Commando, and just disregard even a third ability. Uh, Rambo would be the easiest for the Texture Luck Towers. So I'll go ahead and actually show that off right now. So let's see, head over here. And just to, just to show you that it actually does work, I'm going to put it on Brutal Difficulty. And these AI should have around about 7,000 health. So let's see. Yep, that's the one I'm looking for. So like I said though, you pretty much just want to jump kick these guys. So there's one, and he's at about okay five thousand one hundred. That's not too bad actually. And as you can see, he's not able to get close to me. Sometimes with Shang Tsung, you will notice that he does uh, do the shake move. So. Just saying, though, this might actually become a little tedious, but it will eventually get the job done and allow you to bypass this tower without all of its shenanigans. Because as you see here in the active modifiers, he's got the chaos ability. So if he touches, uh, if he hits you, he has a 100% chance to cause that, which is going to have your uh, controls reversed, which is never fun. I continue to trap him in that corner so he can't get out. You could honestly use mix up and special delivery since you're only fighting these guys. You could also do that too to like amp the damage up a little f further. 
So, bye bye, Shang Tsung. This might be a little bit longer video since I'm going through all these. And again, just jump kick them because they don't ever block that. So, even at Brother of Goody, which I'm surprised they don't. As you can see, though, this is working. Super easy to get this done, even at brutal difficulty. Um, speaking of which, actually, I should actually mention, uh, on brutal difficulty, if you're trying to get locality, you have to have it at uh, brutality. The brutal difficulty, I mean. So, you'll have to do the texture like towers once. Go through the whole entire thing, and then do it over again for the second time to actually get brutal difficulty unlocked. And then that's when you can get your uh, luck outies and lucky blows. Well, good, we're making good work of her. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Oh, actually, by the way, too, the matches do function like survival. So you'll recover health based on how high you were, basically. So you'll see in the next match, I regain a little bit of health. That's how these towers kind of function. I'm not sure why they made them like survival towers, but yeah, that's how this functions. So in this one, I, I think I was at like five or 400 health. I should, the health should go up to at least like, I would say seven, maybe eight. Because the lower health you are, the less health you're going to get back. So, let's see where I'm sitting at. Yep, 800. And since we have a augment that actually heals us while we're doing all this, this is actually great because we don't have to worry too much about dying then. So that's always nice to have. This is kind of cheesy, though. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a little bit. Yep, oh, there we go. Now, one thing with the um, with the what's it what's it called? Um, uh, mix it up. That's what it's the mix it up augment that does all the damage. You don't want to really use. Uh, wire trap too much because all the damage comes from your machine gun. And this is actually fine. Oh, okay, it's not fine. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, just jump kick her when she's like that. Don't don't do what I just did. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Okay, I need to create a little bit of distance here. There we go. Got through it. Basically, just don't let the AI get close, basically, is my advice. And there we go. There's Jade right there, so we can move on to the next one and complete this whole tower. I'll, um... I'll show the boss tower too. Um, like I was saying with quick step, uh, with the boss towers, you could actually just take quick step off and replace it with um, uh, what the hell's it called? Breakthrough. You can just replace that with breakthrough. Luckily, I do have Elder God armor on because otherwise, if he hits me once, I'm gonna be frozen every time. So that's gonna be very annoying. And as you can see, with each. Um, with each uh, character you go up in the tower, their health gets higher and higher. So he's 6,900, so he went up quite considerably. So by the time we get to the boss, uh, I'm going to say at least 7,500 at least health. Alright, set that there. Now the reason a lot of times I set the uh, wire trap so close 
or like mid distance is because if they try and get up close while I'm getting the machine gun ready, that wire trap's going to stop them from approaching or being able to approach, which is why I'm doing that. So that's kind of like your safeguard for when they try and get close and want to get cheeky. <laughs> All right, we're almost finished up. And honestly, as you can see, the 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 gauge, the offensive gauge refills quite uh, refills back really quickly. So you don't even really need a free refill or the other one. By the time you're done, just doing the normal one, non amplified, it, you should be good to go to do another amplified move. And if you honestly don't have some of these augments that I'm like that I have on, that that that's simple too. Just make it over to the character towers and just farm those out. I actually have a video on that, so if you're looking to see how to do that, just head over there and then do that real quick. So there we go. There's the first tower that's on real difficulty. So this is the boss tower at the end. He's gonna get armor, so I'm gonna actually switch um, quick step out. So in that way, we don't have to deal with the armor situation. And the same thing you would basically do if you're using Terminator or the other one, Baraka. Honestly, Baraka, I wouldn't use just for the fact that you need to be up close with him. So, yeah. So we're going to swap Quick Step off. And then we're going to put Breakthrough on. And you'll see what I'm talking about when they get armor. You'll see what I'm saying. And I'll explain at the end, too, how exactly you get these um, keys for these as well. So we're going to do that one. Yeah, that's the right one. Also, honestly, Ramble's not that good of a character in my opinion, but um, it is worth buying because he does have uh, a good AI to actually farm currency with. That's one of the reasons why I actually had gotten him. So, and as you can see, his health... Oh, oh that was a lot higher than I thought. Um, it's 8,100. Might be a little bit until we burn through his health. <laughs> Let's go ahead and reset that up. There we go. Now, usually, if you're trying to get the most amount of damage out, you don't want to set that wire trap way out there like that, like I just did, because you want majority of the bullets to hit him, because that's where the majority of the damage is going to stack up. Because if you get 120 hits right uh then you take that for the next time you amplify again uh so if you did 120 damage uh uh out of the 120 bullets and then you take four percent on that that's how much more damage is going to do on the next time you amplify it is how that works so if you did 800 it's going to be four times that amount when you do it again then that's why you want to keep that wire trap kind of mid or close range while you just hit him with the machine gun. As you can see, he's glowing now. So that's his armor right there kicking in. It kicks in about uh, 3,000 health, I would say it kicked in. So that's why you're wanting armor cl uh, breakthrough to kick through his armor because otherwise he would just armor through all your attacks. I think it actually says the percentage is on him too. Let me check. Uh, activate the armor. Yeah, he gets the armor. Increase all damage dealt by one percent per level. So he's at level two hundred. So that's yeah, two hundred percent damage dealt. Then yeah, because you take the level that he's got two hundred. Increase all damage dealt by that. So it's two hundred percent. Then same with his uh, fire mastery right there. And then he's immune to electric, which is kind of odd, honestly. I thought he'd be immune to energy, uh, fire or energy.
But yeah, this is how you kind of choose the towers. <laughs> so let's go and plop that out there. There we go. Perfect. See, now that wire trap right there, if you have a level 4 like me, that wire trap is going to stay out there for 5 times. That means it will hit him 5 times before it disappears. If it doesn't hit him at all, it's not going to ever disappear. So, that's really nice about that. Now, uh, the way you get these augments... Oh, actually, hold on, before I move to that. So, these towers that have the 4 opponents like this, that's where you're going to get your, luck, uh, your lucky blows from your lucky blows augment and when it says uh character rewards that little thing right there that's basically going to be based off of one of the characters that you fought in this tower so if you so it's not always going to be like robocop gears no it's going to pick one of those characters and you're going to get like three i, I forget how much you give that one but it's going to be one of these basically it's going to be one of these things um right here where it has the ai like come in and assist you it's kind of useless in my opinion, but yeah. So these you get lucky blows from. The boss towers is where you get the luckality from. And over here you get level four. Now, how to actually get these tower keys? Basically, you do any of these right here, any of these keys, and you summon one of these towers. So I'm gonna summon this one, and that's how you and that's how you get one of those lucky keys like that. Um, as for the low consumable that you get out of that tower. Uh, I actually have one right here. So basically what this does is it makes you immune to every single damage in the game. So if you have one of those totems that do explosive, it's supposed to kill you, that's going to prevent you from being killed. So it's only a short duration. You can use it repeatedly throughout the match. But it's kind of handy, kind of not. I mean, it, it depends. But as you can see, I summon that tower. I get a lucky key at the end. You can also get uh, tower keys out of the crypt. And sometimes these towers right here, like this one, the Heroic Tower, the Rapid Tower, and the Tagasis Tower, will have uh, sometimes tower keys in them. Uh, if you're looking to crypt, uh, aim for a lot of the chests, because a lot of the chests will have uh, keys in them when you open them. So you have a chance of getting one of those. Uh, that is all I can pretty much say on the Test Your Luck Towers and advice. Um, uh, if you're if you're doing like an attack damage build like my Rambo, you want to do something that increases damage. I would say if you're doing Rambo, which honestly I highly recommend that one, always have defenseless on. That's a must. Uh, have Elder God armor on. Life Stealer, I it's not a must, but it's it's good to have on because you're gonna get health back. That's always good to have. Um, you could honestly go without any damaging augments if you want. I would. Uh, if I'm doing like the four tower, uh, I would just do mix it up and probably uh, special delivery or amped up. Or when you're doing the bosses, just switch that to break through because it breaks our armor. That's basically it. Um, I could show off my uh, Terminator build, but I've already explained how it works. It just reduces damage. By the time you get to the one where it costs 9,000 souls, it can't even really compete in the last tower, so it's not real. I mean, it's good for getting up to that point, but when you get to that other one, yeah, you're, you're gonna start to like struggle a little bit with this one. So, and Baraka, honestly, I wouldn't even bother. You have to be up close with him, and like that's putting yourself too much at risk. So, yeah. All right. Well, I hope this uh, helps some people out. Hopefully, they were able to, you know, kind of get how that works, how the immunity works with the tower, and how the damage scales up and whatnot. So, all right. Well, hopefully you guys can get some of your luck hours going and make some OP builds. All right. I'll catch you guys later.